Guys, please. I need this answered. Somebody help me out. What's going on, guys? It's me, Solar here, man. Um, today's video is a little different. It's not a highlights video, as you guys usually see on my channel. Um, I have some questions for the Final Fantasy community because I'm kind of confused right now on what to do. Um, I have played Final Fantasy now for about four months. I completely finished the story. Story was amazing. Amazing. The story was so good. Um, great, right? I have four classes now, um, pretty much almost level 80. I've done Ninja, Bard, I'm working on to level 80 right now, Dragoon, and Warrior. Amazing time leveling the classes. I thought leveling the classes right now to me is the funnest thing in the game. What I'm kind of trying to figure out right now is when you hit level 80, I honestly feel right now, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because like I said, I haven't really ventured, um, I haven't been playing that long as a lot of you veterans have been playing Final Fantasy. But I'm kind of struggling to find out what to do there is an end game right now because I feel like the only things to strive for is really savage and ultimate content. And even when you get the gear from ultimate content, yes, you get the real the best gear in the game. But what does it have to offer for end game content? I feel like you just get glamours and you go about your day and that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, you get the glamours and that's it, you know. And um, I haven't obviously done any of those yet. I got to find a static for those, but I'm kind of struggling to find out what there is else to do in the game when you hit level 80. Um, you can do crafting, which is kind of like leveling classes. It's pretty much the same thing, right? You're leveling your characters, you're leveling your crafters. But when you hit level 80, what else is there to do? You've got POTD and HOH, which I see only two streamers on Twitch really doing that right now. They run the solo challenges. Um, Faros and Angel, shout out to them. Um, but I see they run like the solo, uh, solo deep dungeon challenges um, to reach level. I think 200 is the top floor you can go to. I don't really know because I haven't done it yet. Um, I've done like 51 through 60 to level some of my characters. Um, but I'm kind of just, I'm really trying to figure out what to do when you hit end game. I feel like when I log in Final Fantasy every day, I either do PvP, which is front lines for a little bit, or I just pretty much do my daily roulettes, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really feel like there's anything else to really venture in the game. You know, like I said, there's obviously crafting. And then I think the other thing you have is Beast Tribe Quest and Hunts, which I don't really, I haven't really got into those yet. Um, but I'm kind of struggling to find out what to really do. Um, I would really like to do a lot more PvP. Like I love PvP, man. I've always been a PvP or in every MMO that I've played. But right now, currently, the only really thing there is to do is front lines. Um, Rival Wings is somewhat uh, people go into right now, but I feel like it's not as popular as front lines at the moment just because of it's on the roulette. Um, but Feast right now, you really can't even get into because every time I log into Feast, it doesn't matter what time of day. Sometimes I log in at like 9, 10 p.m. It's still 15 to 30 minute queues, you know, and that's just for training matches. Rank matches are sometimes 30 minute queues all the time. And I can never get into them. And when I'm streaming, I don't want people to just sit there and watch me be queued for 30 minutes. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like it's kind of like PvP. I feel like they just threw in there and they just don't really have any type of end game goal for PvP. You know, like a like a you know, like crazy arenas or something. I don't know, something. Yes, there's glamours and stuff, but glamours, I mean, you know, who wants to do 300 frontline matches just for one glamour? Like you know no offense i wish they would change something about that and just give you i don't know some type of other goal make it fun front lines to me is like okay you capture this point but then if you're there's like 20 people coming and you're by yourself you're automatically dead like there's nothing you can do like it doesn't seem like there's any real skill it's kind of just like communication like okay everybody spam this aoe kill these guys off take the ovo that's pretty much it you know there's not really any like i don't know Maybe I'm talking on my butt and that could be it, but I don't know. I'm kind of just like PVP is like I said, it just feels like they just threw it in there and there's not really much else to do. Um, so I'm kind of struggling, like I said, just to find out what to do at end game content. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or tips to do at end game besides the stuff that I named, I would really like to know because like I said, it just feels like every day that I log in, I do my roulettes and then I do a little bit of front lines and that's pretty much it. I'm still leveling all the characters, but I, like I said, when I hit level 80 on everything, what else is there to do in the game besides savage and ultimate content so i would really like to know you guys um please give me some comments in the comments section give me some tips guide me in the right direction of what to do when you hit end game in final fantasy 14 i would really like to know and i would really appreciate it so hope you guys have a great day hope you enjoyed the video and uh i'm out so peace bye guys